where you have updated a plugin and the website has crashed or you're facing some design issues for your client site, you can quickly roll back the plugin. You just add the slug and open any 404 page again. This person has been redirected to about a space. It can be overwhelming if you ask your client to upload a registered account on Gravita. So you can just toggle this on. And now if you visit your profile page, you will be seeing an option to change the profile picture here. This is just the tip of the iceberg because we are working on a more surprising features for you in the coming months or the coming weeks as well. Hello everyone, we are back with the next update for next extension where we have added total 11 new features and in this video, I'll be walking you through all the new features and how they will be helping you with uh, your WordPress website. Starting with utilities, where you will be seeing some new options here, which is Disable Gutenberg. So for example, if you're someone who uses Page Builder or someone who prefers using the classic editor, then in that case, you can use the Disable Gutenberg option. So I'll just quickly show you the options here. So if you want to disable the Gutenberg for pages or any custom post type, we have also added options to render the custom post types as well, as well as uh, the post which you select for disabling. So for example, if you're disabling your post page or the pages custom post type for your Gutenberg, in that case, you can also prevent loading the Gutenberg script as well. So Gutenberg has its set of own styles. So if you wish to disable loading that as well, then you can enable this option. So I'll just quickly show you this whole thing. For example, if I go to the post one, here's all my posts. And if I just click quickly open any of the post and you'll be seeing that I have the default Gutenberg editor. But if you want to disable the Gutenberg completely, so I'll just go here, toggle this on and hit save. And once I refresh this, so this will be my old classic editor. So the old WordPress users must be knowing this whole interface. In many cases, if you're someone like, for example, Elementor user, and if you want to disable Elementor for pages, because you must be someone who is creating all the pages with Elementor. So then you can disable it for pages. Uh, you will stop loading the Gutenberg script completely for the pages uh, post type. And for the post where you may be posting the blog script, you can continue to load the Gutenberg script. So in that case, this whole feature will be beneficial for you. Coming to the next option, which is the content post order. This will help you reorder the whole post. For example, if I go to the post page, you see that by default, they are all modified with when the date they have been posted. But in some cases, if you want to keep a certain post on the top, it can be your any important blog, which you must be updating often. So anyone, there can be multiple use cases for this. So if you want to make any post or any page or even a custom post type, if you want to make sure that that particular thing stays on the top, you can just come here. I'll quickly go to the settings and for which one do you want to enable? So for example, I'll click on post as well as pages. Now I'll go to my post page. Now you will be seeing a toggle icon here. So for example, if you want to make this post on the top, you can toggle this on the top. If even if I refresh or create new content, which I have made it on the top, they will be on the top. So this way you can order the custom post type manually or according to your wish rather than depending on the default published day. So coming to the next option, which is called the rollback manager. If you have faced an issue where you have updated a plugin and the website has crashed or you're facing some design issues, so that may require some time to debug. So in that case, for your client site, you can quickly roll back the plugin. So there's this option here, as you can see in the utilities one. Once you toggle this on and you go back to the plugin settings, you will now see that there is a rollback button. So let's suppose if they are facing any issue with the contact form. So you just click on rollback. It will be asking that which version you was to set. So let's suppose I set the previous version. I click on rollback. Current version is 606. The previous version was 605. So I'll just click on continue. So it will be rolled back to the previous version. All right. So rollback was successful. Let's go back. So as you can see that the plugin has been rolled back to the previous version. So this is how you can easily roll back your WordPress plugins as well. So this is a freemium option. In the free version, if you toggle this on, this will redirect to a home page. But in the pro version, we have given you an option to redirect to a particular page. So you can add the link here. Uh, to show you quickly, you can go to pages and you can add any of the slugs there. So for example, by default, whenever I open any of my page. So this is my 404 random content, right? So you don't wish to show this particular page to your user. So you can redirect your 404 page content either to home page or a particular URL. So for example, I wish to redirect all the 404 page to my about us page. So I'll copy this slug 
and I'll get back to my settings and add my slug here. Do note, in the P version, you will just be redirected to the home page when you just have to turn this toggle on. But now, since we are in the premium version, you will just add the slug and open any 404 page again. So see, this person has been redirected to about us page. Similarly, if you want your visitors to see some another content whenever there is a not found page, then you can set it from here. Next, one of my favorite. So this is called the custom user avatar. Normally, if you want to show your profile picture, you have to go to Gravatar. As you all know that and it can be overwhelming if you ask your client to upload a registered account on Gravatar and if you want to just quickly set up a user upload site. So you can just toggle this on. And now if you visit your profile page, you will be seeing an option to change the profile picture here. So I'll just quickly go to my media library. And let's suppose I select any of the previous image. So the previous image which you saw was my Gravatar image. And as you can see that now it has been updated to this particular page which I've updated. You can also reset it to default which will fetch back to your Gravatar or in most cases if you don't have any image so it will just show that grey placeholder image as you know. So this can be helpful if you don't want to get the, into hustle of registering into Gravatar and just want to upload a simple profile picture. Okay, so the next feature is the public preview of draft. When you're working on your website and your client wish to see the draft version of it and you don't want to publish the website. In that case, you can enable this option. So this will be sharing a public link where your client can see the draft. The blog is not posted, but there will be a unique link generated which your client will be able to access for the particular days you set. So for example, it's enabled only for the five days and let me enable it for the post. Normally because it's usable for the blog post only. So as you can see, there's a new option called your public preview for only available for the draft, right? Since it's, it's in the draft page. So I click on public preview and this is the link. And this way, the person will be able to see it's just a random content, <laughs> but you will be able to see any blog or any draft page where it's properly styled. You will be able to see the draft page. And if there's anything missing, they won't be able to see or link is expired or some invalid thing. So this is how you can easily share the public draft link to your client. Next feature, which is called the replace video. Many times you may upload an image on your website and you wish to replace them. So without going to manually replace the images one by one, you can easily replace the images globally. So I'll just turn this on and then go to your media pages. And now you will be seeing that replaced media and you can upload a new image from here and this will be replacing the image. Like for example, you've added this image on your page, on your blog page. And if there's any correction you wish to do on all the pages at once, so in that case, you can just upload the replaced media and it will be replaced globally for all the pages and posts. So this is a hefty feature which will be saving you a lot of time if you're making any changes to your website. Alright, so moving to the performance tab, we have added two new options called revision control and heartbeat. So as you know that whenever you make changes to your post, WordPress stores the previous version copy as well. So just to show you quickly, I'll go to posts. If I show you here, the revisions are stored. If someone wish to roll back to the previous version, as you can see, revisions are here. All the changes which has been done, any title change, any text change, they are being stored. And if you don't delete them, they keep piled up and some, in some cases, they were to 100 or even 1000 revisions for posts as well. And if you look at a longer picture, this creates a lot of loads on database. So in that case, we suggest that you can turn this on and select that how many revisions you wish to show. Like for example, you want to keep the latest 10 or latest 20 or latest 5 revisions only. After that, the previous revisions will be deleted. So for example, I'll just make this 5 and if I want to set the revisions for post to 5 only, right? As well as pages to 5. I'll just quickly go to posts. And now I'll make some changes. So for example, I did some changes. Hit save. So there are total four revisions now. Let me hit another change. Revisions are now five. Now, as you can see, as you remember, I have made this revisions to five. Let me make another change. Revision still remains five because the first version will be deleted. So in this case, you will be ensuring that your website does not get little slow because in many cases we have seen that users store all this revision file, which makes their whole website slow. So in that case, you can set a limit that how many revisions you wish to store for your pages, posts or any custom post type. Moving on to the next feature, which is called heartbeat control. 
as you must be knowing that wordpress if you remember whenever you make any changes there is a auto save notification which comes here right by default for post every 15 seconds wordpress sends a version to a server which stores that copy more like a draft copy right so if i just make any changes and set for it after that you will be seeing that okay it has been saved or after every 15 seconds it will be hit so even if you have not saved that version wordpress will keep a copy of it in some cases this is actually helpful but if you want that you don't want your wordpress server to be hit every time or every few seconds and you wish to reduce the load so for example if you have a site where multiple people are working together they are writing pages they are writing posts in that case there can be multiple pings to your server in that case you can just set this that okay i want to ping my server every 3 minutes so you can just set this here we have already set the default value here as you can see for the posts it's 15 for dashboards so there are three types of heartbeat which wordpress uses so you can set it 15 or 3 minutes in some cases people don't want that auto save feature so that the server is does not hit by at all so in that case you can hit disable heartbeat and hit save so there will be no auto save or anything your website server will won't be hit So this is a good nitty-gritty feature which will help you with the performance and overall load time of your website. So moving on to security, we have added two new features there. So one is the SVG upload. So previously, I'll just show you if I go to media and let me quickly download a SVG file. All right. So we have downloaded the SVG and now we'll be trying to upload the SVG file on our website. So as you can see the WordPress won't be allowing it because it's normally SVG files are restricted to be uploaded on the WordPress website. Now I'll be going to the dashboard security and enable the safe SVG. Okay? We have also given user permission that not everyone can upload it. So for example I'm a admin so only an admin or maybe your web designer who's an editor only those people can upload it. Rest won't be able to upload it. So let's get back to our media library and now since I'm admin I'll be uploading the SVG file. So the SVG file is uploaded. So this is a good feature which will be helping you and do note that we have ensure all the security standards are maintained we sanitize the svg and until there is no malicious code we won't be uploading it so it's a very good security feature so if you're someone who uploads svg uh, files so you can use our svg upload and make sure that those are not malicious svg files which can take over your website so it's a good security feature next we have added two new options which is helpful for a lot of people uh, we have seen that many people they upload their email directly on the contact website so in that case you can toggle this on and no bot or no crawlers will be able to scan the website so if whenever they scan the website it won't be visible to them but until there is a human there and who is crawling his or uh, moving the cursor then only the person will be able to see it so if you are afraid that you are adding an email on your website and someone might crawl and uh, you know scrape the content so this is highly helpful as well as hide url part so you know your authors are open it's better that you hide the author url so that it's good for security so these are some minor security improvements which we have added to make sure that the wordpress site is more hardened next one is our admin interface where we have added a lot of new features as you can see here so next is the clean admin bar and there are multiple settings in the admin bar and you wish to remove it So if you want to remove this howdy and there are multiple things you need a very clean stuff so you can have a clean admin bar so I'll just show you right now so my admin bar is now clean there is no howdy nothing it's just the template list so you can optimize and clean the admin bar from this whole feature next feature is our wider admin menu so if you want to extend this whole width of this admin menu so you can select from here so i just make it 400 pixels hit done and refresh so you see that if you have a lot of details to see these are all the settings which will make your admin journey easier so if you have a lot of lengthy content or if you want that this part is has a lot of more screen size or screen width then you can alter it from the screen admin menu part then there is this user profile clean so okay so i'll just quickly show you there are already multiple settings in the profile page as you can see which may or may not be required and in a membership website or you don't wish your client to have access to all this file in that case you can just come here and like you know if you want that you don't want to show this admin your color scheme right so you can disable this you can disable the toolbar role bar, bar info which is this one you don't wish to show this 
or if you don't want to uh, allow your user or your client to change the email then you can disable this or you want to completely remove the new password or reset password option right this one so then you can just uh, come here and save so now i'll refresh this page and you see that there is no more the password bio or my color scheme and i have a neat and clean profile by the way this option is from next extension as only where you can also enable two factor authentication for better security of your website next you have multiple plugins right so in for example in some website there are 50 60 or even we have seen 100 plugins but it can be a lot of time juggling through plugins and if you want that your active plugins are on the top so you can just simply come here and select this option so now when i refresh this page only the active plugins which are being used on the website they will be on the top and the inactive or the deactive plugins will be at the bottom so very minor thing but this will be helping you with user experience where you want to see only the important plugins on the top so this is the option for that next we have added few uh, settings here for example you wish to remove or hide these settings from the wordpress dashboard menu right i'll just quickly show you i'll go to my dashboard there are multiple things like site help quick draft at a glance events and activity and we have added an option to remove all these things so you just hit save so you have a clean dashboard if you don't want your client to see all these options so you can completely remove them all together we do have a option from here which is called the screen options you, you which but it only works for you in particular but if you want that your client also does not sees those option then you can simply come here and hit save so right so this was all the new options in the next extension and this is just the tip of the iceberg because we are working on a completely new version of course snippets if you have been using our course snippets very actively and i have a good news for you that the course snippets is going to get a massive update in the next release as well as we are adding more surprising features for you in the coming months or the coming weeks as well which will be making your wordpress experience overall better and faster and if you want to see any particular feature let us know in the comments below we are looking for more feedbacks because as you know next extension is our vision to make wordpress a very solid foundation where by default your wordpress website is secure faster and clean where there is no unnecessary required stuff so i hope you find this video helpful this is all for the next uh, extension in the 4.2 version if you have any suggestions let us know in the comments below thank you so much